Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me today. I told you this year it's going to be a roller coaster, so please brace yourselves. Now, besides me is a gentleman that I did host a couple of months ago. Now, today we are back again to talk about solar products and why you need to install a solar in your home, at your farm, at your company, at your office, anywhere. And why is it important? But also the beautiful thing that we're going to look at today is the system that they've set up here. Now, just to give you a hint, this system is going to be giving them about 40 units of yaka. If you're in Uganda, you know what I'm talking about, 40 units of electricity. So let's talk to, uh, get to talk to Mr. Gideon Sempala. How are you, sir? I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. proud to see you again. Uh, me too, me too. How me is too. the solar business going? Uh, everything is moving on very well. You guys are the ones that are taking our money because <laughs> solar is the new thing in the country uh, globally. Solar is, you know, uh, one of the most recommended things. And, and, and is it because of its um, uh, usability? Is it because of cost saving? Why solar? Uh, basically, uh, for example, like here we are at a, med a medical facility mm. and uh, power outage was uh, so much mm. and uh, more especially when it came to operations. Okay. So uh, they, they failed to operate on uh, most of the patients because of the power outages. Okay. So we are here to stabilize the power so that uh, solar is the primary source of power, mm. uh, so that uh, the medical facility can work seamlessly mm. uh, without uh, interference in case they have uh, a medical operation, a patient to work on. Mm. Uh, so when it comes to, 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 to a hospital, let me say they're in theater and uh, you don't have power, maybe the generator has broken down, mm. it means you can lose life. Yeah, that's yeah. very, very important. So we are giving them a stable and a reliable source of power, mm. uh, whereby they will not have any shortage of power. Okay, yeah. let's talk about this particular uh, solar system in general. How is it? What is the component if your client isn't, uh, you know, not is if your client is okay with it let's have people know about this particular one that you've set up here how is it like uh voltage wise is it um, uh, a hybrid system or the normal solar that we've gotten used to recently uh this is a hybrid solar system uh basically it comes with uh, the solar panels it comes with uh, lithium ion batteries it comes with uh, solar uh solar hybrid inverters uh, this system, the way it works, uh, during day, you have vest power directly off the sun. And uh, when, it, uh, when the sun sets off, you can have this power uh, of the batteries. So you have uh, this system we have designed here. They have, it is a 40 kilowatt system. So that means they have about 40 units of yaka. So even if they have an operation which can run maybe like two hours or three hours, uh, they can't. They, they they can't run short of power. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sempala Gideon comes from K and uh, G uh, Solar Power uh, Solutions to harvest about forty units of power every single day. Uh, how many solar panels have you installed for this particular system? Uh, for this particular system, we have installed about uh, there are 40 panels mm. of uh, 585 watts. Mm. Uh, they can uh, directly harvest uh, about uh, those about uh, like uh, 30 units of power, uh, direct sunshine. So the reserve goes to the power park. Uh, so the way the system works, uh, in case they have a load of, uh, which is consuming maybe like about uh, uh, about 10 units, mm. so the 10 units go directly uh, to, to the loads. So the remaining balance, which is about 20 units, it runs to the power pack to do the charging of the power bank. Uh, they will not be relying on Umeme because uh, this is an integrated system mm. uh, whereby solar becomes the primary source of power, mm. uh, then Umeme becomes secondary. Okay. Uh, uh, let me say, they have also a generator, the generator becomes tertiary. Mm. So the system, it works seamlessly because uh, uh, it is integrated. Yes. Okay. But Usually people complain that uh, the initial cost of installing a solar system is expensive. What is your comment on that? Uh, normally, uh, when it comes to costing, it depends. Uh, uh, it depends on the facility we are going to, uh, the, sorry, the solar system we are going to install. Mm. Uh, let me say, if you have been using uh, 
about uh, let me say you're paying maybe like a million shilling into into utility bills that is basically uh, umeme mm. uh, if you run that money for like one year that is about 12 million so when you get to about five years that is already 60 million you have injected uh, for that 60 million uh, if you have also a generator you're using mm. uh, when you look at all that cost uh, normally the return on investment when you invest into uh, a solar system like, uh, to run maybe your facility, your hotel, your hospital. Uh, more especially the return on investments is between three to five years. Mm. The money you have injected in mm. comes uh, out at the end of the day. Yes. So the next uh, maybe 12 years you are saving because you are relying on solar 100%. Mm. So you, you, you're not going to pay those bills anymore. Uh, you, uh, because the system can save you up to like 98 percent yeah okay uh, also we've looked at uh, the trends when it comes to solar products mostly in, in uganda here and majority of the products on the market are counterfeit yeah. uh, they are duplicated products most especially when it comes to solar how are you handling that to ensure that you give somebody uh, a system that will last longer uh, as 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 K and G Solar Power, we work with uh, only premium uh, products uh, because uh, we are into service. So when we are doing the selection, we work directly with the manufacturers uh, that supply us the products we use. Mm -hmm. uh, the products come with a warranty. Uh, for example, like the panels come, uh, the panel comes with a warranty of about 25 years. Oh. Uh, then when it comes to to the battery, the battery comes with a warranty of five years. Uh, but the cycles or uh, the durability of the battery is about 15 years. So when we are doing the selection uh, for our clients, we look at premium, uh, premium uh, products. But when uh, you just run onto the market and uh, maybe you work with people who are not uh, technically qualified, that's where mm. people end up uh, buy buying fake products. Mm. Yeah. So it needs uh, maybe you visit uh, real professional people like us mm. uh, so that we can give you a better solution. Do you as KNG Solar Power Solutions uh, give uh, solar on installment? Yes. Uh, we. How does that work? Uh, we work with uh, Centenary Bank. Mm. Uh, the product is called Center Solar Finance. Mm. So if a client is interested uh, to, to get a solar product uh, for his facility or institution, uh, the bank can do the financing for the client and you pay in, in, in installments. Yep. And how long is the installment? Or it depends on what somebody has taken? Uh, it depends on, uh, on the client. Uh, even if you need a year or two years, up to five years, you can be covered. Uh, when it gets to like uh, maybe like facilities like uh, schools, uh, you can go up to even up to like five years. So is this uh, like an official thing with Centenary Bank or it's for K&G Power Solutions? It, it, it is an official thing uh, if you go to Centenary Bank. Uh, Any Centenary Bank? Any what bank. Do I, what are the procedures? Uh, they are the normal procedures. That so I walk into the bank? Yeah. I ask them about what? What like solar what? Uh, the product is called Sente Solar Finance. Mm. So uh, Sente Solar Finance, uh, if you ask for... for, for uh, maybe the product is about financing solar installation for, for the end user that, uh, that can't pay the upfront costs. So you can walk into any branch. As soon as you get there, it is WK and Geo Solar Power that uh, we partner with the Sentinel Bank. Oh, so whichever branch, as long as it is solar related, related yep. they will give me K and G Solar. Yep. And then do they need like collateral for this particular product? Uh, Must, should I be banking with Centenary or even if I'm banking with DFC or any other bank? Uh, when it gets to collateral, it depends on, the, on, the, on the, the, the amount you're taking, but normally it comes with, uh, you have to have some collateral uh, to access the facility. Uh, but at times, uh, if uh, the institution, uh, for example, if there are schools, uh, what we do, we work directly with the manufacturer, uh, whereby a client, uh, we can give the client uh, to do a payment of like 40% onto the, pro onto the uh, product. And then the remaining installment of uh, the 60%, we can schedule it uh, depending on the way you have been paying your electrical bills. For example, let me say you have been paying 2 million and the system I've given you, it's saving you like 98%. So that money, uh, uh, the money we save you, is the money you remit to us on a monthly basis. So if you pay 40%, 
uh, you can work directly with us, the solar becomes the collateral. The collateral. So you, didn't, you don't need any collateral. So you are certain uh, that uh, if we give you this system, you'll have uninterrupted, uh, uh, if it's a school, if it's a hospital, if it is uninterrupted power, so that uh, your work can go on. Smoothly. smoothly okay yep. amazing so ladies and gentlemen in case you have any questions please do hit them on mr gideon's number it's just right here today i've given you his number so you don't have to look for me again but then you can look for me in case you want to eat some amazing foods at singura house also if you want me to visit your farm let's talk about it uh sometimes it involves costing sometimes it involves uh, a little bit of facilitation here and there depending on what you are actually uh wanting me to do ladies and gentlemen but for now i think let's uh, leave it up to here let me now go to um the owners of this particular system and we get to know uh, why they chose to do this. Has it been because of uh, uh, the unreliability of power or the cost of power? So let's get to talk to them before we sign out.